I am completely naked right now. You just can't perceive that because I'm using NVIDIA's newest DLSS4 technology. Look, I may be a freak, but this AI is hallucinating my clothes. This is neural imaging rendering technology. This will save your VRAM. NVIDIA gave me this technology and I'm going to use it, okay? You're gonna buy it, you'll love it. Let's talk about it. There are some leaks coming out about DLSS 4 and guys, I wasn't gonna cover this, but I thought, kind of thought about it and I'm like, wow, this is actually kind of a really interesting topic because after seeing the cards NVIDIA is coming out with, you know, the 50, 80, all the way down, how VRAM limited we're being, we're living like the 40, the 50, 90 is giving us everything we've ever wanted with VRAM and memory bandwidth. And that is just going to be out of reach of 99% of gamers or even more. You know, it made me start to think, wow, they're really gonna have to lean into DLSS 4 to make this generation a worthy upgrade. And Inodin, or Inan, however you say their name here, let me pull it up on my phone. This article came out, NO3D. Yeah, NO3D, you know, they dropped the ball, they released some of the marketing hype for 5000 series. And there's a lot of stuff here, like just advanced DLSS, all the marketing bull crap. One thing that stood out to me was the neural rendering capabilities. They don't give us a lot of detail on what that could be. Also generative AI kind of uh, jumped out at me, but they don't give us a lot of details on what those two things may mean. But I kind of got some an inkling and I actually had a dream. I think it was a dream or maybe it was kind of something I saw on X and I had forgotten about it, I was tired. But I had this dream that and I saw this somewhere else that Nvidia will be doing this is VRAM suppression. But I had this dream guys that there was eight gigabytes graphics cards. Like I saw, I remember seeing like a chart, like on Hardware Unboxed was doing something with 5000 series. And I know this is weird that I dreamed this, but it's whatever. Hardware Unbox came out with this benchmark for 5000 series. And the 5060 with eight gigs of VRAM was only using like literally like 500 megabytes of VRAM while whatever other graphics card, like the 4060 and other eight gigabyte graphics cards were maxing out their VRAM at like seven to eight gigabytes. So I had this dream that DLSS 4 was so potent that it was just suppressing VRAM like crazy to where the eight gigabyte VRAM buffer didn't even matter. And I know that's crazy. It's not, it's not gonna be anything like that where you just get like 10 times more VRAM with you know texture suppression and all that. But it made me start to think, NVIDIA is really going to be pulling some crazy stuff with DLSS 4. Who knows if any other generation is gonna get this. They might just give 5000 series DLSS 4, but let's just speculate today what DLSS 4 could entail. I think that Nvidia is going to be pushing the envelope so far that it's gonna make DLSS 3 look like a joke, guys. I mean, if you're sick of your <laughs> of games just looking like someone just slabbed oil and grease all over your screen, I mean, just get ready for DLSS 4 because they're going to be using DLSS to upscale textures and basically suppress texture sizes and use AI to upscale that. And what that's gonna do is make it to where your graphics card uses way less VRAM. Essentially, it's gonna make te textures look a lot more blurry. So if you got, thought the game looked blurry, if you thought anti-aliasing looked bad and games already looked like someone just got olive oil and smeared it all over your screen, uh, it's gonna get worse. Now, me personally, I, sw I like to smear just pure lard over my screen. I think that looks better than the natural look of olive oil, but you know, to each their own. DLSS 3, I mean, we're interpolating frames, right? They're just fake frames, it's made up. Um, right now, we can one in every eight pixels is actually rendered by your GPU, guys. With DLSS 4, it might be like one in 16 pixels, or you know, it might be to something totally different. I've started to play some old games. Like some of these games from 10 years ago look great and they they could run on a potato at hundreds of FPS. It's weird. And now we're getting these games that bring a 4090 to their knees and they look blurry. They're pixelated. Like guys, it's so weird. And DLSS 4 is part of the problem because it, it's a crutch, right? DLSS is a crutch for developers. And I kind of denied it for the longest time. Like for the longest time I was thinking, 
Nah, you know, DLSS is just a performance booster. There's no way developers are actually gonna use this as a, gonna use this as a crutch. Not every graphics card has access to this. It's just, you know, a little bit of icing on top for us PC gamers. You know, consoles don't have access to this. And then AMD comes out with FSR, which looks even worse than DLSS. And it's bad because now everything, even consoles, any graphics card has access to this upscaling that um, is not actually bad in itself. I like the way DLSS looks. I like being able to play at 4K, especially when it's back implemented to older games that actually ran well. But it's really bad when they use it as a crutch, when you cannot even get a game to 30 FPS stable, and then you have to in interpolate frames and do all this crazy stuff. And now we're looking at, instead of actually giving us a VRAM boost, instead of giving us more than the minimum eight gig gigabytes of VRAM, we're just gonna compress these textures in game and it's probably going to give us a performance hit to compress these textures rather than just give us more VRAM if I had to guess. And it's not a good thing, guys. It's not a good thing. If you think your games look blurry now, if you think that they look like someone smeared oil all over your screen, it's just gonna get worse, guys. We're gonna have to do something about this. We aren't gonna have to be able to take this. Like, sure, saving VRAM is great. It's a good thing that they're looking into solving this problem, especially if they backport it to older graphics cards that already have that low amount of VRAM. But if they're using this as a crutch to say, hey, eight gigabyte VRAM cards are okay. Like, go ahead and pick one up. You're totally not gonna be obsolete today, not even in a year from now, just today. Yeah, it's not, it's not really gonna work out, guys. I'm really starting to think people are like starting to catch on to Nvidia's tricks. Like with the B580 coming out, I see so much people saying like, screw Nvidia. We aren't doing this anymore. It's getting serious out there. Like I'm, I'm thinking people are not gonna be taking this crap from the 60 class much longer. I know the 4060 sold well, but to be fair, the graphics card, you know, with DLSS 3, and I, that's part of the problem is I see myself even talking about it. DLSS 3 was a really big game changer for that graphics card and it consuming so little power for small rigs, but I can't see people widespread like promoting a 5060 with eight gigs of VRAM, guys. I really don't see that happening. Like what Nvidia doesn't understand is they have a mind share, like people like me that build PCs, that build PCs for our friends and get other people into PC gaming. So yeah, going with Nvidia is a better option. You aren't gonna regret it. You know, you're gonna have all these features and software stacks. But if I re recommend them a 5060 and they can't even play the games they bought, built the PC for, it's not gonna work out. So what NVIDIA doesn't understand is people like me, people like you that recommend PCs to build pe to people and build PCs for people, like it's not gonna work out for them. The 5060, if it has eight gigs of VRAM, is not gonna sell the way they want it to. And I know it probably won't affect their bottom line too much, but over time, it's gonna degrade their market share in a bad way. So yeah, guys, I just we just need to talk about this. Like DLSS 4, image quality and games, <laughs> degrading even more, right? Like AI hallucination. And you know, part of game optimization is to um, not computate things that you won't notice, right? And that's the whole idea behind AI upscaling. Is it so good that it's equal to native in many cases? So why not use it? Because it renders faster. It gives you more performance with minimal or no visual quality loss and that is what optimization is all about guys but we're getting to the state where dlss and these upscaling technologies and everything to do with unreal engine 5 that was supposed to be great for our performance and supposed to be great for our visuals is everything but that and it's just the opposite guys it's degrading visuals it's degrading the performance and really it's just making it to where you have to upgrade your gpu every generation for games that look worse like really these games are not getting any better. There's a few games out there that look really great, like Black Myth Wukong, but some of these games, like the art style's not there, the textures are all just blurry. Um, everything just doesn't look good, and the optimization's horrible. And I can't, I don't think we can blame it on one person, on just the developers or the creators of Unreal Engine 5. I think we just have to look at it, the industry as a whole, and kind of look at all these parts in separation, right? I mean, let's just think about this right quick. Like if this VRAM suppression, this neural texture suppression technology of DLSS4 is the thing, and essentially you can get textures that look like garbage 
right? Textures that look like they came out of like 2000, you know, very low res, upscale them in a very, very quick manner to get more performance. Like you could overcome VRAM and memory bottle in memory bandwidth bottlenecks. So if this is as good as something like DLSS, like DLSS is now, like it may not be good when it comes out. We have to understand that. But if it is really good like DLSS is now, it could be a great thing for lower VRAM graphics cards. But let's just think if it, this became widespread, if AMD got a version of this, if Intel got a version of this, think about how bad it could be for VRAM requirements, right? If you didn't, if the same thing happens with this VRAM compression technology that happened with performance in DLSS, think about what how VRAM capacities would have to balloon, right? So let me just explain to you what I'm saying. Before we had games, it was reasonable to run most games in you know 60 FPS without any upscaling at native resolution. Um, oftentimes, you would get in the hundreds of FPS, and it was, you know performance for the most part was reasonable, right? Now games are coming out, even on a $2,000 graphics card, you may not be getting 60 FPS with upscaling, you know? And some, sometimes even at 1080p if you're using path tracing and all that. And essentially, developers are using upscaling as a crutch because in the minimum requirements for games, even at 1080p, you have to use upscaling and frame generation now, right? Which a few years ago, we didn't even have this technology and we were making by, and the visuals were not that much different, guys. So essentially what I'm saying is, if this VRAM suppression technology, this neural texture, whatever, AI garbage comes out, and it's really good to start out with, like DLSS became and during DLSS 2, we enjoyed DLSS 2 in games that actually ran well in the beginning, and it was great because we got this huge performance boost. Well, as we saw with DLSS and games, quality started degrading, optimization started degrading. If the same thing happened with this VRAM uh, compression technology, just think about how VRAM requirements would balloon, right? Like, <laughs> if an eight gigabyte graphics card can get 50% more efficiency and become like a 12 gigabyte graphics card, well then devs are just going to use more VRAM and optimize even less, right? So essentially, without this technology, 12 gigabyte graphics cards would be like eight gigabyte graphics cards, you know, 16 like 12, and 24 like 16 almost like just think of it in that way so that's what i'm kind of scared of like almost i want nvidia to stop coming out with this dlsx dlss technology because it's just working in such a universal manner that it makes game developers lazy and almost i'm starting to think that nvidia is paying these game devs to just use dlss instead of optimize like i'm starting to get to that point where like someone under the table is giving people money so we have to upgrade every generation guys Honestly, I think if it's a success, we're all in trouble because game devs are just gonna use this more and more to degrade our image quality, degrade our performance, and ultimately require us to upgrade to play their newest games. But guys, let's just talk about it. Like these newer games aren't worth the upgrade. There's a couple of them that are really fun, but for the most part, many of these games aren't worth the upgrade unless you're making money off um, you know, live streaming these games or you're really just a fanatic about these franchises. It doesn't make sense. Me personally, I'm gonna be sticking to more older games. I got into Dishonored um, like a month or two ago. I passed that and I loved it. I played it for a second time. And then also I'm getting into Dishonored 2. I played Prey this year, all Arcane Austin games. Really, those are some really good games if you like single player stuff. Um, you know, I play Halo Infinite a lot and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So those are the kind of games I'm playing right now. So, you know, Dragon Ball Spark and Zero is Unreal Engine 5, but it's super easy to run. I have a 4080, so I'm gonna be sticking to, you know, a couple modern games that I like, but mostly going back and playing these old gems that I just love. Neural, neural imaging, neural texture processing, and AI upscaling, it sounds like really cool. The techie inside me is excited about that technology. It, it, I'm excited to see, you know, Oh, a 4060, eight gigabytes of VRAM, maybe it can be equal to 10 or like 12 with the suppression technology. That's kind of cool, but I know developers and I know somewhere around along the stack, somebody's gonna mess it up for us, right? If DLSS4 you know, uses this technology and it's horrible and no one uses it, then it's not gonna really change the game very much, right? And if this is a thing and it's if it's really good, um, Intel and AMD I think are gonna have a really hard time catching up with NVIDIA 
and it's gonna make it tough, right? So if they come out with a technology for the 5060 that equates it eight gigabytes of VRM to having more like 10 or 12, um, that'd be kind of crazy for like the B580 and whatever AMD comes out with, hopefully it has 12 gigs of VRM because essentially they would be, it would cost them much less to manufacture their product, but their product would perform better. So they could have more margin and essentially that's what they were doing to AMD and Intel this whole time in GPUs, but it would just be further uh, exacerbated and their, <laughs> their advantage would just grow more and more. But you know, I'm just kind of to the point where it's like, unless you're spending a thousand dollars on a GPU, go with AMD or Intel. Like, I I don't like recommending Radeon cards because I feel like their features are just not there. I think FSR is just so much worse um, in all aspects compared to DLSS and XESS. And you know, them not actually having great media encoders and upscaling, it's not the best, but at this point, like you can get the VRAM and the memory bandwidth. They may hold you for a little bit of time. And you know, but if you're spending like a thousand dollars, you might as well go with NVIDIA. You need their, their, um, all the features they give you. It's just worth it at that point. But other than that, at the low end, I just don't think we should be recommending them anymore. It's, it's just, it's just kind of scummy guys. It's kind of scummy. And I don't know, like, what are they going to do next, man? Like, are they going to, are they going to use AI to render the money out of my bank account into theirs? Like, no, this is what they're going to do. DLSS five at this point is just going to be them predicting my spending habits, automatically drain $2,000 out of my bank account and send me a 6090 because they knew I was going to buy it anyways. Like, it's gonna predict my decisions before I even know I wanted it, right? So I see a 6090 at my place, I'm like, oh, cool, I see $2,000 lost in my bank account. Like, that's what DLSS 5 is gonna be. It's just gonna predict uh, your just choices for you. It's not even gonna be related to gaming. Like, it, it will choose, it, it will render frames before your mouse even moves. Like, stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. So what do you guys think of DLSS 4 and my thoughts on it? Do you think it's going to be some kind of texture scaling and VRAM suppression technology? Do you think that sounds kind of cool? Would that save low end, low VRAM graphics cards or is just, just gonna be cope from Nvidia, cope from Nvidia fanboys and nothing is going to save the eight gigabyte cards. They're just gonna die in their grave. Guys, let me know. Also, is DLSS 4 gonna be exclusive to RTX 5000 or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Silicon Steak, signing out.